Senate leaders concede the slate of reforms is not perfect, but they believe it's a step in the right direction. The ACLU, which represents more than 90 community groups, calls the package insulting and wants the House to do a better job. The Senate is advancing a package of nine police reform measures. Officers who use excessive force, which results in death or serious injury, face up to 10 years in prison. This also goes for officers who do not intervene or report the behavior. The legislation creates a statewide use of force standard and enhances whistleblower protections for officers. This is a critical step in reshaping and changing a culture of silence it happens too much within law enforcement. Another reform measure changes the Maryland Public Information Act to allow access to police discipline records. It was prompted by the police in custody death of 19-year-old Anton Black on the Eastern Shore. The family is still fighting to get more information about the death and the officer involved. We definitely do not want um, any family to go through what we've gone through um, with losing Anton. Um, it, it's it's life changing. The reforms allow the Maryland Police Standards and Training Commission to ban officers from the profession. The reforms only tweak the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights. It calls for civilian participation in discipline hearing boards. It prohibits police unions from developing their own discipline policies during collective bargaining. No piece of legislation is perfect, but the package is consequential and comprehensive. The ACLU, which represents more than 90 community groups, released a statement saying in part, quote, this is insulting. It feels like a sucker punch. We deserve better. The Senate police reform measures are small positive steps forward, but do not match the call for transformative change that emerged from communities' demands, end quote. So while we can't fix longstanding problems of inequitable policing overnight, I do believe that the package of bills that we're putting forth put us on the right path. Final passage in the Senate is expected next week. That's also when the House takes up more stringent measures. And there's now growing concern whether there will be enough time to reconcile differences. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.